This is a project looking at potassium deficiency in the soil and it has uh, several, several components to it. One of the components is, is soil fertilizer recommendation. So we're sending off samples to four different laboratories that growers would use that are either in the state or in a neighboring state to get recommendations from them. But we're also looking at uh, two different varieties and uh, one of them being a conventional variety called Hutchinson and the other variety is genetically enhanced. So we're looking at fertilizer recommendations, two different varieties, and we're also looking at rain-fed and irrigated environments. We're in about the third year of our project and winding it down now. And uh, so the field, main part of the field work has been conducted and now we're in the laboratory. And we have a graduate student from the University of Tennessee that has been working in the field and is now in the lab and she's going to explain to us what she's doing in the lab. In this study, we're comparing uh, soil extraction methods from these different labs and we're reciprocating those due to the fact that these labs give fertilizer recommendations based on yield goals that growers check for that intended year. And we want to see what the difference is between uh, these different fertilizer recommendations and um, the actual yield and where the potassium is going in different environmental settings, whether it be your irrigated or non-irrigated, and if it works best with conventional varieties or newer uh, genetically modified beans. So then to determine that, we're also taking samples from the seed and plant tissue throughout the growing season and seeing how much potassium is found in each of those. And we're comparing them across the board to determine the best fertilizer recommendations for our growers in Mississippi. Hopefully this research is going to shed some light on the, the different results and the yields that can be expected based on the fertilizer recommendations provided by these different laboratories. And not only that, the labs that have the option to check a box for a yield gold, uh, we can see if that yield is achieved based on our soil type. There's a box to check for irrigated or non-irrigated crop what that difference, if there is one there, as well as if they provide a maintenance fertilizer rate in their recommendation too. Because all the labs don't do that, some labs do, some labs don't. So we're gonna compare recommendations within that lab as well as recommendations from other labs. So hopefully that'll help the growers better provide them a more understanding and be able to manage their requests from different soil testing labs.